Hey guys, today I want to share an amazing story with you all about a recent graduate named Basant Chanoda who landed her dream job using a unique networking strategy. This might surprise you. So Basant graduated from one of Germany's top universities, the University of Bonn in 2019. Like many of us, she thought she could land a job by messaging recruiters on LinkedIn and applying online. However, after 6 months of trying with no success, Basant realized she needed to change gears and do something out of the box. In today's AI world, it's becoming increasingly challenging to stand out. Basant, a Gen Z born in Egypt, found this out the hard way. She realized that despite being a non-traditional approach, connecting virtually with recruiters was not working as expected. It was just too hard to get noticed. So, what did she do? She decided to take her networking efforts offline. She used LinkedIn not to message recruiters, but to find out which conferences they were attending. One conference that caught her eye was the online marketing rockstars in Hamburg. This is amazing to be honest. Now here's where the story gets more interesting. Basan didn't just attend the conference. She volunteered to work as a waitress to get free entry. She traveled over 6 hours from Cologne to Hamburg with a stack of resumes in her bag. During her breaks, she leveraged the opportunity to circulate her CV to 30 to 40 recruiters, hoping to impress at least one recruitment manager. And guess what? it worked big time for her basant landed a job at linkedin where she works today she is now based in dublin ireland and her role is an implementation consultant but the story just doesn't end there she had a list of conferences to attend and she even faced the recruiters who rejected her online she used the feedback from the companies that rejected her to improve her applications let me tell you guys this is the power of resilience and determination Instead of hoping to run into the right people at the right time, Basant strategically chose events that she knew hiring managers from her desired companies would be attending. But she didn't just stop there. She also bravely approached those who had turned her down in the past, including a recruiter from LinkedIn. Basant shares, "Every rejection was an opportunity for me to learn and grow. The feedback I got from these rejections allowed me to revamp my applications and eventually land job offers. This process was a true eye opener for her." it gave her a better understanding of how to make her application stand out and what she needed to do to pass those final interviews now she has some serious advice for anyone who's struggling to land a job first of all always talk about the impact you've made don't just say i want a job instead discuss your achievements and measurable results that you've delivered second listen to the hiring manager's needs understand what they're looking for and tailor your elevator pitch accordingly finally make friends not just connections Remember recruiters are people too so don't just see them as gatekeepers to a job instead build genuine relationships that go beyond work in the end the key to landing your dream job isn't just about networking it's about building relationships and showing resilience even in the face of rejection so what can we take away from her story basant chanora's journey to linkedin was not a straightforward one After her success at the online marketing rockstars conference in Hamburg, she didn't just stop there. Instead, she kept pushing herself, attending more and more conferences and continuously expanding her network, which is very important to take note of. The digital world has opened up a lot of opportunities for young job seekers like Basant. However, it comes with its own set of challenges. The sheer number of applications that recruiters receive online can be overwhelming. This is why Basant's unconventional approach made a significant difference in this case. Basant's strategy was not just about attending conferences but also about being strategic in her approach. She knew that merely handing out resumes wouldn't be enough. She needed to make an impression. She found creative ways to stand out from the crowd. For instance, she volunteered for different roles not just to gain entry but to also interact with as many people as possible. Moreover, she learned to handle rejection, which is a very important thing. Every time she was turned down, she took it as an opportunity to learn and grow. The feedback she received helped her understand where she could improve and what she was specifically looking for. Through her journey, Basant also understood the importance of building real connections. As she told, it's not just about making connections, it's about making friends. She believes in the power of genuine relationships and how they can open doors that might otherwise remain closed. Basant's story is not just about landing a job at LinkedIn, it's about her resilience and determination. It's about how she turned her struggles into opportunities and how she used every rejection as a stepping stone towards her goal. Basant's journey serves as an inspiration for many job seekers out there. She shows us that the conventional way is not always the best way. Sometimes you have to think outside the box and be a little daring. And as she rightly puts it, 
every no gets you closer to that next yes this is a powerful reminder that rejection is not the end of the road rather it is a part of the journey towards success so remember basant's journey the next time you face a rejection or a setback use it as an opportunity to learn and grow and keep moving forward keep building your new relationships and keep pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone because in the end it's not just about landing a job it's about the journey you take to get there and that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the story and i believe it inspires you to think outside the box when it comes to job hunting remember every no gets you closer to that next yes stay positive and keep building those relationships see you in the next one